This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations, everybody, who's ready to start the final case of the game. I don't even know where this is gonna go, to be honest. And also, I want to preface this, I know I've already trash-talked the final case a lot. That's not to say I don't like the case. I just think it's the weakest of the final cases. Anyhow, we're starting episode 5, Turn About a Blaze, today. Hold on to your shirts, folks. It's going in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Cutscene at the beginning, maybe? Fire. Two cards. One of the Black Raven. And one of the White Raven. Oh, there's probably two Yadagorasu. A country torn in two, one to the west, and one to the east. Don't know what countries those are. When those who were, which were split are made whole again, the truth will reveal itself. It sets the building on fire. Perhaps. It's the Yanagarasu! The Yanagarasu's here! Okay. You, accursed Yanagarasu! K, you! Eight hours early. Okay, March 14th, 1017 a.m. Hi, prosecutor's offices, room 1202. Um, what happened then between, oh, I guess I bought the haunted house. To wait, wait, now? what do you mean? Well, because we had the flashback case, and then it was like, oh darn, and then it came back to the that section. We had already finished that case. Though. Did we finish that case? I yes. literally don't remember what happened. Oh, you don't remember what happened? Okay, so Lance, his son, was totally guilty of that. Yeah, he kidnapped yeah. himself, killed the guy. Yeah. We proved it. And then, like, his, his dad's basically like, oh, well, I tried. And then they're like, um, you totally destroyed evidence. We're gonna, like, arrest you, question oh, you. Oh, oh, okay. And he's like, okay. uh oh. Because Lane's like, thanks, Edgeworth. I've been wanting to arrest him for years. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. We've got a so now, prosecutor's trophy. His steel yes. samurai. Oh, yeah. Quick recap. So that happened in the third case. Fourth case, we had the flashback case with the Yadagorasu. His, his office has clearly gotten cleaned uh, up. Second case, there was Kami Meal who was working at the smuggling ring. She was trying to smuggle the stuff, and Mr. Stewart tried to stop her, and he died. Right, right. First case, basketball boy was, like, sure. trying to also forge evidence and stuff like that. Okay. And we had the second guy who went into the office, and we don't One know One other thing I've is. noticed. I think this is different. All of the red pieces are cornering two blue pieces now. Not one. Yes, indeed. It's so nice, almost dreamlike, to finally have the chance to relax and sip some tea. Edgeworth has had quite a roller coaster of days. Yeah. The last four cases have taken place in the last two days, basically, except Ugh. for the flashback. Yeah. Especially after what a whirlwind the past few days have been. On my return flight, I was dragged into a case involving an Interpol agent's murder. The next day, I investigated a kidnapping and a murder at the Gatewaterland theme park. And later that night, a detective's dead body welcomed me back to my office. Along with a thief who was out to pilfer files related to a case from ten years ago. How did I manage to find myself in the middle of so many cases back to back? <sighs> well, at least I have today. All I ask is that I be allowed to spend it quietly. Mr. Edgeworth! Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> I thought that was Gumshoe. This is big! Big, I tell you! She's been working hey, on her gumshoe voice. What's wrong with you? Where's your enthusiasm? And suddenly the phrase, the fragility of dreams, comes to mind. What are you talking about, fragile dreams? Come on, let's go! The fake Yadagrosu isn't just going to find himself, you know? Or herself? Well, if you must know, it's possible that I was paid a visit last night by your fake. Say what? But it was a man. Wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't they say- Dude looks like a lady! No, wasn't it like a man? So then it probably wasn't- Callisto you. Callisto you. Unless she got hormone surgery or uh, whatever. Yeah. Unfortunately for us, the thief managed to escape. But even now, we're still looking for this criminal. However, I must warn you that we've only had a few hours to search so far. So I must insist that you be patient on this one, Kay. What's with 
you today. Are you sure you aren't sleep talking to me right now? Anyway, I've got something much more important than I want you to see. Oh, and that is... Take a look at this! On March 14th, I will be here to steal your dirtiest secret. That's quite a bold declaration to send to an embassy. I suppose it was inevitable that a newspaper would catch wind of this. The date the card mentions is today! Today, huh? Come on! We gotta hurry! The embassy awaits! I suppose it is quite an urgent matter. However, do you know which country's embassy we should be investigating? Well, it's some really special country, and I'm actually really fuzzy on the details. But never mind that! Where's all your energy? Why are you so lackadaisical today? I'm not, Kay. You're just too wound up. Well, then you should get too wound up, too. Because this just might be our chance to catch that woman. You mean Miss Yu? The woman who killed Kay's father burned Faraday seven years ago. Callisto Yu. She claimed to be the great thief Yadagarasu, and then disappeared from the courtroom. Forever. Ugh, she makes me so mad, the phony! Everyone knows that the real Yadagarasu would never send something like a calling card. Until a company's underhanded dealings are made public, the target's always totally unaware that the Yadagarasu's paid them a visit. That's what makes the real Yadagarasu so awesome! Hmm. The Yadagarasu's card that's shown in this article, it looks to me as though it could be genuine. See, that's the thing. Whoever it is, that person isn't the real deal, but has the knowledge of the Yadagarasu. If that isn't a clue that the if, if this isn't a clue that that woman's involved, then nothing is. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, out the door you go. Wait, there are a few preparations I must make before we go. There's something interesting about this card we found last night here in my office. It's of a different color than the one in the article, which makes me wonder why- It's not the Yadagarasu, it's the Badagarasu. Bada very different. <laughs> he has a speckled belly and doesn't have Cybercot's gun from Finn's. Yeah, what's up? Any reason why you're boring a hole through the newspaper with your eyes? No, no reason at all. Very well, seeing as how Miss Yu is also someone of a special nature to me. I agree that there is some merit to be found in investigating this. I knew you'd come around! I want to investigate the room. March 14th, 5 o'clock p.m., Fiatrum Neutralis. What? Uh, By the light of this night's glorious moon... We are ready! Ready, ready to embark on our nightly outing! And this is where... Our tale begins! Is this the Nickel Samurai? That's the Steel Samurai. That is the Steel And the Pink samurai. Princess. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be a game without the Steel Samurai. Whoa! Lots of people! Heh. <laughs> what a coincidence. Who would have thought that a Steel Samurai stage show would ever be held at such an elegant theater inside a foreign embassy? Yeah! The climax was really awesome! Steel Samurai Sushi Slice! Got chills down my spine when you pulled that move out. I suppose it is really more something... I really... I suppose it really is more impactful to watch a show in person than on television. I have to say, though, this embassy is set up kind of funny. I mean, they have two countries sharing the same building! Well, as you said yourself, this place and the country's houses are very special. Even the theater is special in that it is a neutral zone shared by the two countries. Oh, boy. Um, so let me get this straight. Yeah, you kind of need a political science degree here's, in order to understand this plot. Of this here's story. the thing. <laughs> if there's one thing that I've learned from playing Capture the Flag, when there's a neutral zone, people always argue about if you got tagged or not, or what's happening, or what's the end of the neutral zone. <laughs> so this is not going to end well. <laughs> Steel Samurai Show just now is being sponsored by one of the two countries. The one that's called the Kingdom of Alabast. Alabast. Right? Alabast. Oh, like Halabastion, but like Alabast. Yeah, Alabast. The one that's called the Kingdom of Alabast, right? Yes, it would appear that the Steel Samurai is very Ew. popular in that country you know as well. You know what? It looks like a tomato, but with... It's a flower. Oh. See, I'm looking at the or the like orangish red around it, and then it looks like the inside of a tomato. Oh. Gross! No, it's a flower. Seems that way. 
But you know who I'm really into? The Jamma Ninja. The Republic of Babal is sponsoring a Jamma Ninja stage show. That's something for fangirls like me. We totally gotta see that one too, Mr. Edgeworth. The Jamma Ninja show is gonna kick the Steel Samurai show's rear end. Yeah, we've got this again. You know, ever since I first met this girl, I've always had this inkling that what she really wants to be is not a thief, but rather a ninja. So anyway, about today's event, um, what's it called again? The Kingdom of Alabast versus the Republic of Babal Goodwill Jubilee. What? The small European countries of the Kingdom of Alabast. How do we get invitations to this? And the Republic of Babal. We can't just walk in. These two countries used to be a single entity that was abundant with nature. And it was called the Principality of Codopia. Oh, it's the Codopia and the Sea. Yeah. Freaking... <sighs> this is getting complicated. Hmm? Is everything alright, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, I'm alright. Moving on. After a period of civil unrest, the country split in two, though signs of their past remain. For example, their flags preserve the flower and butterfly motifs to this day. Codopia, huh? The KG-8 incident. And what was referred to as the second KG-8 incident. In which an embassy staff member was murdered. Both of these cases were related to the Principality of Codopia. In the seven years that have passed, the country may have split into two. However, the Autograssu still sent a calling card here. What could it all mean? I don't know, and I don't really care. Meanwhile, there's some guy that's like, can I film you too? Cause he's, he's not asking, he's just doing it. Yeah. <laughs> this will be great for my YouTube there's a, channel. There's, a, there's like a reporter girl, a guy who looks way too full of himself for his own good with his hand on his hip. And then a lady and then up a, there. a lady with like a pedal skirt that's a little too short. <laughs> Jeez, skirts have got to go below your knees, duh. I don't know about that. <laughs> if I am Supreme Dictator, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Wear what you want. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I know you're trying to think about something. Oh, excuse me. Uh, what were we talking about again? Ugh, if you could please stop spacing out on me. Anyway, we were talking about the Abbas versus Babal Goodwill Jubilee. I'm never gonna remember that. The two countries have had a pretty bad relationship with each other. But supposedly they've been trying really hard to make up recently. That's why they decided to hold this event. If that's the case, then why the verses? Also, both countries claim to own the real Prima Dux. Prima Du. Prima Du. The, both claim to own the Prima Du statue, a national treasure to both. They're planning. <coughs> Why did I suddenly. I like had no breath for two seconds. They're planning to have them publicly evaluated today to see which one's the real deal. Kay, need I remind you to take care and not succumb to your thieving desires? What? What was the name of that statue they were shipping in the airline case? Uh, the Aleph Red statue. Oh, it was not that It's one. not the Prima Du statue, Okay, because no. I was like, wow, it's all coming full circle, baby. <laughs> well, when it comes to treasure, I can't help myself. You know that. Ugh, she had better be saying that in jest. Hey, I can read your body language, you know, and you've got it all wrong. Look, I'm here to do some investigating. Investigating, I tell you. Heh, <laughs> I know. And although we don't know if the Yadagrasu will really make an appearance... I suppose we, th we should still spend some time examining this place. They've got, like, bento boxes around. There's a very festive atmosphere in here. Yeah, super festive. I'm really happy for the Kingdom of Alabast and the Republic of Babal. It's great that they have reestablished diplomatic relations. The newspapers say it's almost like they're Kodopia once again. Perhaps we are bearing witness to a historic moment in time. Hey, look! They're selling some commemorative merchandise to celebrate the event! Founders Codopian Biscuits, and over here they're selling Royal Codopia Biscuits. It would seem that they have yet to reconcile their comp competitive spirits. They're probably the same. Oh, people? What's up? This is the perfect angle! Go by image, travel across the wave world and into every TV set around the globe! A more honest approach to appearing on TV might serve your ambitions better. You, These are both of you. You know, I've seen- Oh, but today-
they show it was like they went for a completely comedy, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that last move, the sushi slice, I couldn't help but laugh. I know, right? And the princess wings move is really stiff. In the middle of the show, I swear I could have heard her hip crack. Oh, I know, I totally thought that too. Prince has a hip? Seriously, she's more sleeping than you know? She has a hip? That's I, terrible. so fast. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't realize they were talking that fast. I suppose there's no graceful way to enter this conversation. I swear, if I actually talk to these people later, I'm gonna probably... Weirdo looking at his watch. Ten more minutes. No, in five more minutes. But is it really bad for me to spend time doing this? It's no use! Would someone please just tell me what I should do? You appear to be troubled by something. May I be of any assistance? Leave me alone! I'm trying to figure out just the right time to talk to that girl over there. And if I mess up, it'll be because I'm talking to you right now. Somehow I get the feeling he's about to fall flat on his face. Well, let's just do as he wishes and leave him alone. Here's that ugly guard. Hey, it's just like the British Royal, Royal Guard. No, it's it's like his sprite, though. He looks like he has all chin and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's kind of true. I, mean? I guess it's kind of true. Is there something I can help you with? I was wondering what is beyond these doors. It's the Alabastian Embassy. Now unless you have some business with the Embassy. I suppose I can't really claim to have any business with the Embassy right now. Well, you don't have to be so rude about it, Mr. Guard. Hm. Okay, let's walk. Oh, talk to the reporter chick. And we're here reporting live from the... Theatrum Neutralis. The Theatrum Neutralis. I could never do this as a real job. As you can see, tonight's audience is full of enthusiasm. Let's see what this member of the audience has to say. Well, I... Okay, that was good. Oh, oh no, wait, that's you. Oh, okay, that was pretty good. Uh, let's do one more one for you. <laughs> Excuse me, but did you really just say one through? <laughs> <laughs> when are you ready? When you are ready to film for real, would you mind giving me a call? I sense that she didn't hear a single word I just said. Well, there's a child. Okay, okay, that's good. All right, now give me a dramatic slam right there. Stop, stop! Hey, do you mind? Get out of my way, buddy. Okay, once more in three, two, one, action. Okay, did that guy have a completely different voice than what he just said, or was that my <laughs> fault just now? Well, he's obviously working. I guess we should leave him alone. Did we actually just push him a little bit? We did push him a bit. Oh, look who it is! Are you freaking kidding me?! What in the- Mana, get out of the series! <laughs> it appears that the child is watching a video from the first season of The Steel Samurai. Go, go! Or you can do it. Go, go! Keep on fighting till your last breath! Go, my hero! The Steel Samurai! Completely absorbed in singing the theme song, I see. I was I'll let the child watch in peace. I... What in tarnation on it? Come on, big scoop! Hey, mister! Out of the way! Yeah, I'm talking to you! Ah, I seem to remember this woman from somewhere. Yet my instincts are directing me not to engage in conversation with her. Perhaps it would be best if I left her alone. I swear, if she becomes a bigger character, I'm she doesn't. She's just an Easter egg at okay, one point. Okay, I was like, I, she has been in what? Five cases? Four. Four? It would have been five if she was a character in this. The national flag of the Republic of Babal is on display here. The crest on it features a butterfly. It's really rare to see a national flag featuring an animal on it. Not at all. Not really. I can at least at least a few offer you if to do that too. Okay, then are there any flags with really chic things on them? Chic things? That's pretty vague, okay. Although, by my definition, these aren't really any flags that feature a chic object. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Because if there was, I was thinking about stealing it. And what exactly would you do with a stolen national flag, Kay? Talk would... to the other guard. I will, but there's, I think, the flags over here that I forgot to examine. The national flag of the Kingdom of Alabast is on display here. The crest on it features a flower. Flowers and butterflies are kind of rare motifs for flags, don't you think? Well, when they used to be Codopia, the government used to take pride in its land. The citizens also love the rich, bountiful nature all around them, thus the design. Hey, if it's the Steel Samurai got popular enough, do you think they'd put him on the flag? Are you in your right mind, Kay? Hmm, maybe the Jam and Ninja would make a better candidate. Heh, <laughs> don't make me laugh, Kay. Only the Steel Samurai deserves such an honor. Is this place gonna burn to the ground in eight hours? Maybe. Uh, or, uh, let me think, uh... Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> I was wondering what's beyond these doors. The Babalese Embassy is just beyond these doors. <laughs> Do you have some business with the Embassy? 
Do you require immediate access? This is slowly turning into Owen Wilson. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, no, that's quite all right. Are you sure, sir? Anyone and everyone is always welcome in the Republic of Babal. <laughs> well then, since we're here... An embassy is in some sort of theme park, okay? You're such a buzzkill. I think I should have voiced him to be more welcoming, but maybe not. Can we not go up there? Where do we go? Oh! There are pamphlets about the two embassies here on this oh, table. Oh, I thought that was sushi. Hmm, it still looks sort of weird to me. The country split into two a few years back, and they've shared the building and its grounds 50-50 ever since. Oh, I guess it's because they don't have the money to build two separate ones, huh? Uh, I should think that's not the reason why, Kay. I suppose I'll just help myself to one of these. Yeah, we all need Embassy it. guide stuck into the pages of the organizer. Hmm? What's all the hubbub? Ah! Hey, look! It's the Steel Samurai! And he's got his son, the Iron Infant, with him! What? That's a thing? Okay. Now it is. Can we talk? May I speak with you for a second? It's the Steel Samurai. Beautiful. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you glaring at him for? Ahem. <clears throat> Please excuse me. It's just that I've never seen a superhero up close before. It looks like he's writing something down for you. To Edgeworth, from Steel Samurai Daddy, married man of Neo Old Tokyo. <laughs> Marty's got her thinking I look on. I swear, off. that's Old Bag. How would he know her the name otherwise? <laughs> you think Old Bag's playing the Steel Samurai? But here's the thing, she wouldn't call him Edgeworth. She would call him Edgy Poo. So that is Unless she really wants to disguise that it's from her. It's gotta be someone who knows it's, Ed it's Edgeworth. Hmm. Or they're just like, Hey, that's Edgeworth over there. <laughs> he was trying to enter He's a bar. prosecutor. <laughs> wow, an autograph! Pretty cool that you got one, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> Steel Samurai's autograph received. Can I look at it up close? Nope. Uh, no, hang on. Steel, Steel Samurai Steel autograph. Samurai. To Mr. Edgeworth, Steel Samurai Daddy, married man of New Old Tokyo. Oh, yeah, that's way better handwriting than, like, Mickey Mouse at Disney. Oh, yeah. Mickey Mouse at Disney with, like, his markers just like... <laughs> well, I mean, he's wearing the big gloves, yeah, so... Yeah, it makes sense. What voice did I give this card again? <laughs> I it sounded really low. <laughs> no, that was the other guard. Oh, well, do whatever the heck you want. Nobody cares. <laughs> Mr. St <laughs> <laughs> Just sound like Mr. Stewart. <laughs> I can't do a Mr. Rudolph Stewart was. Mr. Like Steel Mr. Samurai, Ambassador Alba is waiting for you. And now the Steel Samurai will proceed to enter the Kingdom of Alabas to shake the hand of the Ambassador. The Steel Samurai isn't only here for the two countries tonight, but rather can be thought of as a goodwill ambassador from our own country as well. There he goes, off to spread goodwill to the world. He really does seem to like a goodwill ambassador, doesn't he? Okay, we're shooting the next segment now! Cue camera! In just a few seconds, the Jam and Ninja stage show is set to begin. After the show, the Jam and Ninja will enter the Republic of Babal. He is set to meet with the Ambassador of Babal at that time. Why aren't they both meeting? Wait, why is the Steel Samurai only going to meet one ambassador? Or are they swapping? Um, I believe it's because it the was, other it was the Alabastian amb amb embassy was like, I other. want to steal Samurai, and the other one's like, well, I want the Jam and Ninja. Okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, the Jam and Ninja show is about to start, we've got to get back to our seats! Regrettably, we're all out of wine, and I don't <laughs> have much interest in ninjas. <laughs> and George's like, I'm not sitting through this ninja <laughs> garbage without, without wine. wine. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, the show will change your mind. Come on, we have to hurry. We miss even a second of the Jam and Ninja's awesome plane. I'll never forgive you. She burns the whole place because of that. <laughs> uh, I suppose you're not about to give me much of a choice here, are you, Kay? This is pretty boring. We didn't even. It get gets to see more boring. Ah, I could have listened to the Ninja Mark for Death's Lullaby song all day. His superb plane and that sad melody really brought a tear to my eye. And his heart wrenching voice. Now that's the Jam and Ninja's greatest weapon. Ah, 
Ah, those pieces of jam and ninja merchandise over there. I've got to have them. I especially want the hair sticks they're selling exclusively at these shows. They're exactly like the ones the heroine Princess Missola wears in her hair. Anyway. Anyway? Anyway? Hold right there, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes. You're thinking of going home, aren't you? Well, it doesn't seem likely that the Yadagarasu will be making an appearance tonight. Most likely it was simply a prank. No way! I just know the Yadagarasu will show! But I thought you said that the Yadagarasu doesn't send calling cards. Yeah, I did, but... I figured from the very beginning that this would wind up being a wild goose chase. Actually, it's like this, all this has nothing to do with the actual final case. It might not. But that card she sent was a genuine fake calling card. A genuine fake? Well, how can I word this? The Yadagarasu's mark that's on the calling card is exactly the same as my mark. Get it now? We've got a problem! The steel's Samurai's dead! The, the Yadagrasu's been spotted in all of us! What? what? You hear that, Mr. Edgeworth? Ha! So you finally decided to show yourself, you phony! Hey, who gives? I'm sorry, but I will need to search you before you may enter. What the? Hey! The Steel Samurai's just walled straight through with that one! Now, if you don't hurry up and let me through, my phony's going to escape. Okay, a country's embassy is considered to be a part of the country itself. If you don't go through the proper procedures to enter the country... Mr. Edgeworth! I'm going to enter through Babal and climb over the wall into Albast. Hold it! <laughs> you would tell a prosecutor straight out that you intend to illegally enter another... Okay, are you listening to me? Kay Farnane, I'm coming through! Yes, and welcome. Someone stop her! Anyone! March 14th, 6, 12 p.m., open air stage. Um... <sighs> Kay, where are you? Don't tell me you really did find some way over this fence. Ah! Fire! This is too big for us to handle! <laughs> Looks like the Anagarasu came to the ball, too! You... Accursed Yadagarasu! K, you, you had better be alright, wherever you are. And that's how K died. March 14th, 645 p.m., Babali's Embassy Secretary's oh, it's, Office. It's that chick! I told you it wasn't me! Sheena, yeah. I forgot about her. Crap. You gave her a slightly Russian accent. Mm. <sighs> K, are you alright? Do I look all right to you? Now can you do something about this woman? Mr. Edgeworth! Detective Gumshoe, what is the meaning of this? <sighs> well, sir, it's, um, this. He's... Manny Cochin's dead? I think that was him. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a creepy dude. <laughs> I think it was Manny Cochin. It wasn't me. He was already dead when I ran in here hot on the heels of the fake Yadagarasu. Look, I only came in here because I saw a suspicious person at the open air stage. A suspicious person? A long black coat and a hood over their head. I dare you to tell me that's not suspicious! When I saw that person, I immediately thought that they must have been the fake Yadagarasu. So I chased after them into the embassy, then here! And I lost sight of them. But I just know that person is the one who did it! What are you so worked up over? There's no reason for you to be this loud. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're Agent Lane's secretary. I know exactly what is happening right now. That's... that's Callista You. You think that's Callista? That Calista? is her! No, she's the same stance, and she's... <laughs> that's her! She just put on a wig! She just put on a wig? She just put on a wig, and, um, uh, had a reverse spray tan. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be her! She's the same skinny person. Or that's just And that's why she's wearing sunglasses. I've got news for you, like, all of the girls are super skinny. No, but she really is. She's the same- <laughs> Did it? I think that's that's kind of true. I think that's it! <laughs> Your Agent Lane's secretary, Sheena, I believe your name is correct. And if you are making an arrest, I assume you have evidence that it was Kay who committed the crime. Is that also correct? You refuse to answer? 
don't need to answer. Well, she's got different colored eyes, so... And color contacts! That's a thing! Is that a thing? Yeah! You can color your eyes like anything with color contacts. So huh. some people accentuate their color of their eyes. Like, if I... For me, I have, like, greenish eyes. I could put in green ones. Or I could be, like, really creepy and have, like... Dang, the gold like ones. Like, the gold ones. Like all the evil characters from Fire Emblem 7. Yeah. Yeah. You're merely a prosecutor in this country, meaning you have no investigative authority. Hey, pal! Just what the heck is that? Does what? I can't talk! I'm sorry! If it happened here, it's under Mr. Edgeworth's jurisdiction. The end. And seeing as how this building is sitting on our soil, we can investigate wherever we like. Unfortunately, Detective, embassies are a different matter. Huh? This office is considered to be a part of the Republic of Babal. Which means that anything that happens in here defaults to the control of the Babalese government and the Babalese law, giving them exclusive extraterritorial rights. Huh? Extraterritorial rights? Sir, do you really believe that the truth is out there? <sighs> Basically, our country's laws do not apply inside the embassy of another country. That's what was agreed to by our oh, respective no. governments. Are we gonna have to, like, do a... Tr or, no, wait, we're, we don't have to do a trial. But is it gonna be like, you can't investigate because... Um, it's probably uh, you know, females aren't allowed to be in, like in, like in the investigation teams. We're, we're racist. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. The, none of what you just said <laughs> made any sense. No, of the I know other that. Stuff you just said. I know that. I'm just like maybe it's maybe their rules are stupid, and then it'll be like Edgeworth, you can't investigate because you're British. <laughs> He's we faux hate British. British people. Our authority to investigate was effectively nullified the second we entered this place, which means we can do little here in this situation. N no way, sir. Please leave this matter in Interpol's hands and go home. N Mr. Edgeworth! Hey! You're not... Mr. Edgeworth! In that case, allow me to join your investigation. Oh wait, that's not the quite right voice. I thought that was someone else. M Mr. Vog... Yeah! If I said Mr. Vogcaro, <laughs> I'm gonna get whipped for that! I thought that was a different voice. Who's this weirdo with blonde hair? Ambassador Polonino. Pol Polano? Polano? Whatever, I'm jet lagged. <laughs> I truly appreciate you allowing me to join the investigation. It's really nothing. Manny was my secretariat, so of course I want to help you as much as I can. If there's a one thing I know, it's that people who clap their hands a bunch or mess with their hands a bunch are guilty. <laughs> In fact, it's a blessing that Interpol agents were able to make it so quickly. Franziska. Well, well. I never imagined I'd meet you here, of all places. This is an embassy, meaning you have no authority to conduct. Hold it. Already? What is it? Ambassador Paleno? Hmm? And you are? I'm Miles Edgeworth, public prosecutor. I ask that you please allow me to investigate this case as Miss Von Karma's assistant. A assistant? But you're better than her! <laughs> Miles, what the heck do you think you're... Please, I implore you, Ambassador Peleno. Very well. I'll be counting on the two of you, Miss Von Karma and Mr. Edgeworth. Um, what did you mean by you'll be Miss Von Karma's assistant? I don't exactly have a choice, do I, Detective? If we play as her, I'll be happy. If I don't become Franziska's assistant, I can't participate in this investigation. Hm. There you go again, running at the mouth with that aloof expression on your face. Franziska, please. I don't know what you're planning quite yet. But at least I do know one thing. That you are now my subordinate. <coughs> just remember that my whip is always ready to wake you should you have a brain lapse. Oh, I just realized. Franziska's also super skinny. She's gonna still you. <laughs> no, she's not. She's... She's not... Um, how do I say this without sounding awkward? She's not as... Callisto U has no curves, okay? Like, pretty much zero. <laughs> I she's just as bad. She should have just as many as friends as Gad said. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> did you already read that? I yeah, yeah, I did. Of course. I'll keep that in mind. If you are done playing games. Right, let's begin the investigation. Did you investigation, Bob Louise, Embassy Secretary's office? By the way, Detective, I suppose it's a bit too late to be asking, but why are you here? Well, better late than never, I guess, sir. I was placed on guard duty tonight by the Ababali's embassy. And why are our police guarding an embassy? Well, on account of the card they got from the Yadagarasu, they called us up and asked for our help, sir. 
Oh, and because we've been searching for the Yadagorasu these past seven years. It was more or less mutually beneficial arrangement, if you ask me. Except for how mutually unbeneficial this has all turned out to be, I suppose. It looks like you failed to competently perform your guard duty yet again. At least we didn't lose the building. Back! Look forward to your next salary negotiation. Although it's out of my hands. But sir, if it gets cut anymore, I won't be able to buy even packet noodles anymore. Anyhow, we'll have to investigate next time. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. So you can kind of see why this case is like a little bit like... But if I am right about that girl being Callisto you, my mind will be blown. Not really? really, though, because I will I will have predicted it. <laughs> that has to be it. Like, it makes She's so the only sense. girl besides Francisco. No, but she appeared, and I was like, that's weird. Why is this chick here who won't speak? And then she was just kind of around, but not doing anything. In case free. But she was, like, around. Like, she was right. always there when we would find stuff. So then if she's here now, and we just played, and just saw Callisto Yu, like, try to kill us, and, like, their sprite are, are like, the same... It could totally work. So and, that's your theory. And she's been missing for like seven years. So maybe she was like hiding out in the dark. So she got super pale. And then she decided <laughs> to go to the um, contacts place and be like, are you, they're like, are you sure you want red contacts? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would like. Matt Ungard, can we just cut your hair? No. No. no you can't. Not. It's no. <laughs> All right. That's an interesting theory. So. All right. I, I can hear that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully it'll get less political next time. Tune in next time. We investigate. The office and apparently Manny Cochin, baby, he got killed. It, is it? I said, is it that Manny Cochin? And you were like, hmm. Yeah, but then Ambassador Polano is like, oh yes, Manny Cochin was my, like, uh, Manny was like my secretary. Yeah, but that... He's a creepy guy named Manny. <laughs> I mean, so it's probably the same. <laughs> probably the same. <laughs> Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. R.I.P. Manny Cochin, you're not <laughs> No. Like, not at all. Because he was a murderer and a creeper.